try vlogging like this. We'll see what actually happens. Um, I'm off to work right now, but I have a couple errands to run before I go to work. Thought I'd bring you guys along with me just because I haven't posted in a while. Um, my lips are very red because I had nachos before I left, and you know, there was Pico involved. My hair looks in space buns because my job, your hair has to actually be above your shoulders, regardless of ponytails or not. So, space buns is the vibe for my work. Um, <laughs> anyways, to get this vlog started for you guys, I just three days ago turned 23. Woo! You know, the age nobody likes you. Um, I've been referencing that Blink-182 song ever since I turned 23, and it's great. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd take you guys along with me on my ride to work because it is like a half an hour drive, plus my stops that I have to make anyways. Um, you're so cool. Um, but I did want to talk to you guys just about life for a minute. You guys know I have to come in with these little life updates every once in a while. Um, so last night, one of the chores we're doing right now is we're going to the bank because last night was my birthday party and we went to the casino and I magically turned 40 bucks into 240 bucks. So I need to go deposit that because as you guys know, I have not like had a job in a fat fucking minute. And because of that, I've been very broke. And so broke that I have overdrafted in one of my accounts. So I'm gonna go deposit my winnings to pay that. <laughs> because unfortunately I've been having to make some poor financial decisions recently just because of the lack of money. Now that I have a job, everything's great. Um, if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I think it was called like Life Lately or something. I was talking just about how I've been just really fucking depressed and that life was terrible and I wanted to die and all that. Um, it's better now that I have a job. Like, I feel good that I have a job again. So that's pretty, pretty neat. Um, my biggest thing is early last year I was diagnosed with some mood disorders and I've noticed as I've gotten older, like, the mood swings have gotten more severe and last longer. Um, so that's fun to realize about yourself. Um, other than that though, like, I feel good right now. I, I did kind of come to a, my brain was kind of realizing some things last night, um, and I've been thinking about it for a while, but I kind of, at first, let me, let me finish this thought before anybody says anything. At first I started thinking like, man, I don't have a best friend. You know, I have friends, but everyone I know, every one of my friends has a friend that they're closer to. And then I started to think a little further about the fact, and it's like, no, I have a best friend. I'm just dating him at the same time. Um, my boyfriend is my best friend. And as I've gotten older, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, you know, when you're younger, you're sitting there like, oh my gosh, like, she abandoned all her friends for her boyfriend. But at the same time, it's like, but your boyfriend should be your best friend or your partner should be your best friend. Um, and as I'm getting older, I've come to realize that there's nothing wrong with your partner being your best friend. So that's, that's another thought that I had in my brain recently. Um, what else is going on in my life? I've noticed that I'm getting older in like the most boring ways because you know, as soon as I turned 18, I got a bunch of fucking tattoos. Like, I, I would get a tattoo like every other month or something. Um, it was probably every month at one point in time that I'd get a tattoo. Uh, I've kind of started hating them. <laughs> Not tattoos in general. I still love my ta like the tattoo ideas in general. I just, you know, I was young, dumb, and had a lot of money to spend on tattoos. And so there are some tattoos that I've gotten that I kind of just look back on like, man, I really don't like this anymore. Like, man, I should just, you know, find something else because these are kind of, kind of awful. I lost y'all for a second there. It's like, they're kind of awful. You know, I don't, I don't care for them anymore. So I'm thinking, 
whenever I get out of this little financial hole that I'm in, I'm going to probably try and get them covered up um, with like a sleeve or something a little better. Are you going to let me over? Thank you, friend. Um, I just want to get them covered up into like something cooler. I've kind of grown out of the patchwork style. Ah, you guys are going to stay there because that's the easiest spot for you to be. I don't know where these guys are going. I, I've grown out of patchwork tattoos. I, I don't care for the look on me personally. I do think I would look better with like a more cohesive idea, cohesive sleeve, if you will. Um, so I'm, I'm probably gonna get this covered up whenever possible. And we are at the bank now, so I'm gonna just do that real quick. Um, I'm also gonna go get Dutch Bros because I got a free medium drink for my birthday and I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna try and go get Dutch Bros too after this. So that's kind of all of what we're doing right now. I don't know what this person's doing, but I'm gonna slide my butt up here. You guys can watch me deposit money. I love that for me. Beautiful Wendover winnings. Okay, got that taken care of. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm short enough that I can't do like ATMs and stuff normally. I have to like roll down my window and then also step out of the car basically just because I'm too short to like actually deal with that. Um, I'm trying to say the best way to get to Dutch Bros from here because this is not the most cohesive spot. I'm thinking maybe I will try going out this way. Try is my keyword. And then hopefully I'll be able to swing a left here and I just go straight. We'll see how that actually happens, but yeah. So as of well, as I was saying, I just I'm not big on my tattoos anymore. My specific tattoos. I just got one a couple months ago that I love. It's a portrait of my dog. Um, beautiful tattoo. Not to say that my other tattoos at one point or another were not beautiful tattoos, but you know what I'm saying, like. Not to say that they weren't beautiful tattoos at one point in time, but they're definitely not now. Cool, I can actually go here. I wonder if I can get in there that way. I hope so. Um, I think I'm able to go in that way. How busy are they? Oh, they don't look too bad. Um, so yeah, like I just, some, and also, hello. Some of these tattoos are also just like, matching tattoos with people I don't talk to anymore uh, nor do I plan on talking to because again I was young and dumb and had money and thought hey let's get matching tattoos with these people that I actually don't talk to anymore because um, I thought that was a great idea um, I'm going to let you guys go for a second so I can use my phone for my rewards look at this line so backed up Dutch Bros is all the way over there and the line is all the way over here so I'm actually just going to hang out with you guys while I wait for this line to move. Luckily, I don't have to be at work till 1.30 and it's only 12. I left early specifically for these reasons. Um, so yeah, not big on my tattoos anymore. Like this duck, I'm going to get covered up. Um, this aerial hoop girl, I'm going to get covered up. Basically this whole forearm, I don't like anymore. And then also this arm has two, I don't know if you really see them. I have like this tattoo and I have another one that looks exactly like it. All, all great for the time that I had gotten them in, and now I don't care about them. Is this a weird angle? I feel like this is a weird angle too, but oh well. Um, I wish I could like do something better with this right now. I guess that works. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, another life update. 
do I have another life update? No, I'm just broke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, life has just been really weird. We've been trying to convince ourselves to get another cat after Abel died. Um, we're kind of just in this in-between because we don't really have money right now. Um, we kind of have to pay off the credit card that we use to pay for Abel's cremation and euthanasia. Um, things like that. So, like, we're, we're thinking about getting another cat, but we kind of don't have the... It's not the finances that are the issue because we can't afford another cat. It's just mentally do we think we can. Um, because Abel's death was really hard for both my partner and I. And it was hard in the fact that he was literally like a young cat, right? And he was not healthy. We didn't know he wasn't healthy until like the day that he had to die. Um, you know what I mean? Like, And so now our biggest fear is getting another cat, not knowing that cat's history. And then that cat also proceeding to get sick from FIP and die. Um, so we're, we're kind of traumatized a little bit. So it's been a little process trying to think about how to uh, get a cat without thinking of the bad things that can happen to it. Um, so I don't know. That's been another thought that we've had recently. Um, other discussions. What else can I say? Uh, Thorfinn, our other cat's doing just great. He's a real, he's a real good guy. Um, cuddles with us every night. He's just, he's, he's a hoot. I love him. And yeah, this line is so long, like crazy long. I don't think I've moved like a foot since I've been here. It's been three minutes. I don't know why Dutch Bros is always so busy. Like, let me be for real right now. Like, Dutch Bros is okay. It's definitely not my choice. Um, I prefer Beans and Brews, which I think is local to Utah. Because anytime I mention it to anybody else, nobody knows what the fuck that is. Um, but I, I prefer Beans and Brews. I'm not getting coffee either. I, I've learned that I think I'm lactose intolerant now. Which is another thing I've noticed about growing up is I think I'm lactose intolerant. Um, because if I have coffee or cereal or ice cream, it's a bad night for my tummy. And yeah, I don't know. It's It's been fun. Um, still doing really good with my pump. Uh, I'm glad that I ended up getting one. I did knock it off yesterday, which was irritating because there's still so much insulin left in it, but I had to change it. Which is fine. Like, where I knocked it off, it was on my arm, but it hurt. It was hurting really bad, so I'm glad I knocked it off, so I had an excuse to change it early, but still. You know how expensive insulin is? That was such a piece of insulin. Um, I've lost my train of thought, what I was saying. Um, so, yeah, other than that, like, my life's been pretty boring. Like, I'm grateful that I have a job now. Um, beyond grateful that I have a job regardless of the kind of job it is like I at least I have a job you know and then yeah I don't know 23 is gonna be an interesting year I think because I can feel my frontal lobe maturing and it feels really weird um like it feels weird to have a frontal lobe maturing like this because I can just feel things that I'm not interested in anymore. I'm like, oh, this actually isn't as cool as I thought it was. One thing I've also noticed um, I could talk about, as I've gotten older, I've realized my anxiety is getting a lot worse. Um, like, I used to be, I haven't gone to a concert this year, and I'm totally fine not having gone to a concert this year because of the crowds. Like, the crowds give me so much anxiety at concerts now that it's crazy. Um, so I'm not bummed that I have not been to a concert. I did miss Palais Royale and that was a little bit of a bummer, but at the end of the day, A, I couldn't afford to go anyways, and then B, like, I just, concerts just don't do it for me anymore. Crowded events just don't do it for me anymore. Um, I don't know, they just don't feel, like, safe, <laughs> um, which is weird to say as somebody who used to love going out and doing things 
things. I still do like going out, but in smaller capacity. I can go to the stores. I can go to the casino. Depending on the casino, there is one casino nearby that's fucking always busy and I can't go there. It's too overwhelming. But I also like concerts. I'm okay not attending. Big events. I'm alright not attending. Um, so that's just kind of how it's been. But they are getting close to my car. So I'm going to stop talking for a second and get my app pulled up. Okay. I'm at work. Uh, I'm parked. I got my Dutch Bros that I was drinking on the way here. Decided I wanted to listen to music on my way driving here, so that's what I did. Um, I got the sugar-free Tiger's Blood Rebel. I've decided as an adult also, um, a part of me trying to take care of my diabetes is to get more sugar-free things. Um, it's pretty good. It's not great, but um, I did also have some other things I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, one of those things being that I found myself kind of pushing myself away from, like, aerial arts, specifically. Um, and a lot of it has to just do with, like, me internally wanting to do that. Um, I did, again, I was broke for a long time, so, like, I can't, like, afford to go. But I'm kind of just noticing the community itself isn't great. And it's probably just the studio that I was going to, but the studio that I was going to has a lot of programs and events and special things for the kids, specifically the kids on kids company, but they still did things for the kids classes as well. The adults, however, the adults who worked at the studio also get to do these fun events and all these things. But if you were an adult just taking an adult class, you're lucky if you get to perform like once or twice a year, but I unfortunately just started to really hate the fact that I wasn't getting the same opportunities as a lot of people. Um, so that kind of pushed me away from that. And then also I, again, this is just me being me, but I feel like another reason that I wasn't given as many opportunities as a lot of people is because of my size. Um, obviously I'm not like the skinniest, <laughs> obviously, but I do feel like a lot of it is subjective to how people's bodies looked in the air and my body type specifically is not really the typical aerial body type. Um, so some of that is very, you know, self- doubting um but I do think that part of the reason I wasn't getting because I was trying to do like outside opportunities that weren't like with my studio specifically still wasn't able to like get anything I think it's because of my size um but in replacing Ariel I've decided I kind of want to get into boxing <laughs> um I took a free trial class at a gym it was so fun I had so much fun with it and I, you know, I would like to get into it more. Um, once I start making some steady money, I think I'm going to get a membership at that gym and, you know, go punch a bag for an hour. Um, I don't want to spar, which is the other, like, part about it. It's like, I don't want to spar. And this gym only does punching bag workouts. And I think that that is perfect because I, yeah, I don't want to punch other people. I don't want to get punched in the face. Um, when I was five-ish, I was taking karate, and I quit karate specifically because I got hit in the mouth, and I didn't like it. And I was wearing a mouth guard, but it still hurt, and I said, mm, I'm done. I don't want to do this. Um, I've kind of tried to avoid combat sports since then. I did take sword fighting classes back when I was 13 or so. But I never sparred with people. I, I refused to actually put my skills to use. Because I just... I don't want to get hit. Nobody likes to get hit. Um, so, that's kind of where my brain with Ariel is going. It's like I'm kind of pushing it away and rejecting it. And kind of embracing more of like boxing or something. Just because I don't have... 
a lot of good things with Ariel anymore. Like, I don't have any friends. Um, there's, like, one person who still reaches out to me sometimes, but the rest of the people that I thought were my friends from that studio kind of, like, all just went off into their own things, and yeah. So, that's another thing I was kind of thinking about, is, like, I, I think I'm kind of just con consciously and unconsciously pushing away the idea of aerial arts right now, just because... While I did find joy in it for four years, like, I, I'm starting to really not like it anymore just because of those, um, inconsistencies, I guess is a good word. Um, it's just not something that I feel like I can really do anything with. And I know, like, hobbies, you know, sometimes having a hobby is just to have a hobby. It's not for anything in particular, but if I... And practicing and practicing all of these tricks and these moves and these routines and then I don't ever get a chance to showcase them. You know, it's not like I could rent the studio and record videos of me doing these routines and things. I just feel like there's not much opportunity there for anything. Even, like, for performing for my friends and family. Like, that. that's kind of where my issue lied with it. Is, like, there's no... Other than me recording videos while I'm in class, like, there's just no way for me to get anything out of it except a workout. And sometimes that's all that you need is the workout, but I wanted more. I wanted more out of it. And I'm not getting more out of it, and I think it's about time for me to kind of move on and try something new. Um... You know, I did one decently sized show last year, or actually it was in February of this year. I did an okay show, um, but here's the, the other issue with that. The kids' classes and the kids got to be in so many different acts in that show, and the adult classes got three. Keep in mind, this was like a two, two and a half hour show, and we were in three two to three minute routines. So it's like, I, I don't know what you guys want, want us to do as the adults here, but there's just not anything for me there anymore, you know? Like, I definitely feel, I guess, kind of pushed out of the community, basically. I do feel pushed out of the community. Um, and that's, yeah, it doesn't feel great. But it's not the first time that I've been pushed out of a community before. Um, when I was a scare actor, you know, I I made a bunch of friends, you know, I was welcomed, I had such a great time, and then, you know, I burned myself out, started stepping back a bit, and all of a sudden, like, nobody from there talks to me anymore. And it's funny when they say, oh, we're like a family, and then when I really needed people, I had nobody. I, I don't know. It happens all the time. It happens everywhere I go. Um, it will never get easier, <laughs> but it it is something that I've been thinking about that it's like, well, I feel like I'm just kind of getting shoved out of these boxes that I no longer fit in. And that's okay. That's part of, you know, growing up and figuring out your shit. I, I do miss Ariel. I still have a rig and a hoop. If I ever decide to want to do it, like, I can do it on my own. Like, I don't... I don't need to go back to classes to know what to do because I still remember how to do a lot of stuff, but it's not on the forefront of my mind right now just because it's, like, it's too expensive and I feel like there's a lot of un imbalance, unbal imbalance in the community um, for people like me specifically, so, yeah, I kind of just, meh, I'm over it, but, yeah, I think... All said and done, that is all I have to say right now. I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here or if I will vlog more once I'm out of work. We will see. But I'll talk to you guys later. Story was, and it didn't follow like the...